come on! How's it going everybody? This is Ed over at the club. I don't typically do a progress update for my reviews, but Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance is an action RPG, and these can take a little while longer to get out than I'd like, so I figured I'd get a quick video out and give my impressions from the first few hours playing it. This is by no means a review, but just my thoughts and hot takes on the game as I'm going through it. Now so far I've only played as the Archer in single player mode and I'm having fun with the game. You start in a hub and pick your missions from there, which are all unlocked by your progress. And you can adjust the difficulty depending on what your overall battle power or gear rating is. There's a ton of difficulty levels in this, and the levels are meant to be replayed for higher challenges and you'll be rewarded better gear. The game looks really good. Uh, the levels themselves are all instants, but they're not 100% linear, and have some branching paths with multiple objectives you can complete while you're running through them. The best comparison I can make is that this game reminds me a lot of Fantasy Star Online episodes 1 and 2 from way back when, during the original Xbox generation and, and PS2 and GameCube. Um, for me, that's a really good thing because I sank a ton of hours into that game. I haven't really come across any huge bosses yet, just basically garden variety goblins and trolls and then you'll fight a larger troll or ogre or something like that at the end of the level, but I'm still really early into the game. Also, there's lots of variety in your gear, and you can customize the looks of things by choosing the skins, and there's a lot here to upgrade and unlock as well. I'm going to make sure that I play with each of the characters available to get a feel for how everybody plays, and also take everybody outside to do some multiplayer. But from the looks of it, I think everybody's going to play really differently from each other, and if you get bored with one character, it's pretty seamless to switch to another. All of that said right now, the Archer is a little bit on the clunky side to play as, which I wasn't really expecting with her. So I'm really, really curious to see just how everybody plays, because if I have any issues with her, but it's just her as a character, then I might want to switch to someone else, and that's where being able to switch characters is going to be so important in this. But even with that in mind, the game has really good bones so far. So it's on Game Pass if you want to play it there. Personally, again, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll have the full review up as soon as I can. Make sure you become a club member by subscribing to the channel and ding the bell so you'll be notified when it pops up. Love, peace, and hair grease, everybody. I'll holler at you soon. Congratulations! You're one of an elite few to make it to the end of the video. Reward yourself by hitting the round subscribe button in the middle, and then check out the other goodies I've got in the links next to it.